Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Nuri, and in today's video, I am trying on 10 trench coats so that you guys don't have to. I've ordered trench coats from various places to kind of try and test them. This is gonna be a first impressions because I literally just unboxed them before filming. I haven't tried them on. So I'm just gonna be trying them on, talking through them. So when you're looking for trench coats, you know exactly what to go for. If you like any of these, get them while they're still in stock because a lot of these trench coats were available in limited sizes because obviously it's trench coat season people are buying so i hope this video is very helpful and useful in helping making your trench coat decisions i thought we'd get started with the og trench coat this is the trench coat that i live in i got this trench coat like three four years ago maybe from Amsterdam in a vintage shop. I can't remember the name, it was so long ago. Um, it is a Burberry trench coat and I get so many compliments, so many questions on this piece and it is one of my most worn items in my wardrobe. It's an oversized style trench coat. I'll link the exact one from the Burberry website. I believe it's the Chelsea Heritage. Um, and if you did want to buy brand new, I would definitely recommend sizing up. Um, maybe get like a 12, 14 if you're around my size. Things that I love about this coat is the oversizedness of it. I love the belt closure, so the fact that I can just tie it up like that. And then I love having the little leg pop section. So if I wear knee high boots, it looks super cute. And for me, trench coats are like the ultimate autumn winter piece because you can throw it over any outfit and it kind of just, it's like a bathrobe, but outside it covers up anything you're wearing. So you're like, you're good to go. You instantly look chic. Um, so yeah, it's a staple piece of mine. So hence the video. When I was picking out these trench coats, I kind of based it off elements of this coat that I like because obviously this is my most worn piece. Um, so all of these will have features that I'll mention as I try them on. We started off with the OG, the Burberry Trench, and then I'm gonna move on to these high street ones that hopefully you will also like. Okay, so I just wanted to start off by saying that I am going to be wearing the same co-ward for all of these, just so they all get like a fair judgment. Um, and the reason I've gone for this knitwear co-ward is because I wanna see if these trench coats fit nicely with knitwear, because obviously in autumn, you're going to be pulling out your knitwear pieces, so it's good to know that they fit underneath this. And I also wanted to have like a little bit of leg open because when I close up the trench coat, I like to have that little leg pop, so. That is the reason for this outfit choice. I will link this outfit in the description box down below. This is very old misguided, so if they don't have anything like this still in stock, I will link alternatives. So we're starting off with this first one, which is from ASOS. It's part of the ASOS design collection. And for all of these trench coats, I have sized up because I like the oversized trench coat look. The thing that I like about the sleeves is that they have this belt buckle, which I feel like adds a really nice detail to the sleeves. It's also what's on my Burberry trench and one of the features that I really appreciate. You can also like tighten them so that they're a bit more cuffed. As you can see, when I cuff the sleeves, it kind of gives it that puffy look, which I really like. That adds a really nice detail to the trench coat. It gives it a little bit more shape. I love the color of this as well. It's a really nice light stone color. It features a belt, which I appreciate because that means I can do my little tie and then have my leg pop it also features pockets which is a must for me i feel like if i got a coat without pockets i wouldn't really keep it unless it was amazing because pockets are like an essential for me i like the collar detail it's open and then it also has buttons so if you did want to close it up you can but because i oversize because i go up in size i wouldn't really close this up because i think it would just look a bit funny so for this one i'm giving it an 8 out of 10 i like the overall style of it the fit of it is nice it is quite a lightweight trench um so the material is quite thin but it's not so thin that it feels cheap i love the belt closure it has the pocket and i love the little buckle details so it's an 8 out of 10 for this one up also from ASOS as part of their ASOS design range I picked up this brown trench coat which first impressions I really love I love the color of it it's like this really deep chocolate brown which I think works perfectly with like autumn colors neutral wardrobes I love this style of collar it's kind of like a waterfall style that's how I'd pronounce, like explain it 
Um, like it just kind of drapes down. I feel like it's really flattering. It doesn't have the belt buckle sleeves, but I kind of don't mind it because the sleeves are like really big, which I feel like just adds to the coat. It works for this style. Um, I do really like this shape because obviously when you have your trench coat open, I feel like it just falls really nicely. And then I'm gonna close it up with the belt. I really like this one. I think I might have to keep this one. Um, yeah, so like I said, these are first impressions. First time I'm putting these on. So I am walking over to the mirrors just to kind of get a glimpse of what it looks like. So what I love about this is that it's that oversized style. Obviously I sized up so it would be oversized, um, but I love the fit of it on me. The material is really nice. It's kind of like the trench coat thickness you would expect. Not too thick, not too thin, just like the perfect in between. So it goes really nicely with knitwear. I love how it looks tied up. The belt closure is an essential for an oversized coat like this. The pockets are not your typical side pockets. They're more from on the front but it's not an issue, like my hands still go in comfortably. I think the thing for me with this trench coat are the collars. They're really big, really oversized. You've got like the double collar effect. I'm not sure what the exact name is for this, but I feel like this is the highlight of the coat. The collar, it really adds shape to it. I love the oversized sleeves. This one for me, it's probably a 10 out of 10. <laughs> we have another one from ASOS. This one is a little bit more of a practical one because it features a hood, which I believe is detachable. It's in this kind of like light khaki beige color. It's like a khaki beige. And I would say that this one is most similar so far to my Burberry trench coat. I think because of the buttons like on here, the buttons you have down here, it has the belt buckle, which doesn't go all the way around, but it's still here, which adds a nice little detail. I am going to remove the trench hood because I don't really like the look of the hood and I wouldn't really wear it with the hood. The hood isn't detachable. Okay, that is annoying because I feel like if the hood was detachable, this would have had a high rating. Um, that would have been a smart thing to do to have a detachable hood because now you can't move the hood. You're stuck with a hood. I mean, it's not that bad. But I feel like with the hood, it makes it a lot more of a casual trench. Whereas without the hood, you could wear it more like in the evenings. It's more of an all rounder, but with the, with the hood, it's practical because obviously if it's raining, you can pop your hood on. But um, in terms of like aesthetics and looks, I'm not a huge fan, but I do love the other elements like the hands, the buckle, the belt, the pockets, the color of it is really nice. Um, so I would have to give this one a 7 out of 10 and that is purely because of the hood because I personally wouldn't keep this one because I don't think I'd get much wear out of it. But other than that, it is a really nice trench so that's why it gets a 7. Okay, so next up I picked up a slightly different type of trench coat. This is a padded quilted trench coat, um, which feels rainproof. And I feel like this would be the perfect kind of walking the dog or going for walks kind of trench coat. It's a lot thicker than the other ones because obviously you've got the inside like padding and quilting. Um, and it just feels a lot more practical, but I do really like the style of it and how it looks. I love the faux leather collar with the black. I feel like it just adds a little bit of detail, especially because you don't have the belt that I love to cinch in the waist. I feel like you need other elements to kind of bring in the details of the coat and to give it a little bit more something. You have the um, like belt buckle, which I think is nice. This coat is very practical, very warm. I've got it on right now and I'm like, feel like I'm sweating already. I love the length of it. And as much as I love the tie belt, I feel like this coat doesn't really need it because it's one that you would kind of wear open and you wouldn't really need to close up. But if you did want to close it up, you do have the buttons feature so you could close it up like this. But I would have it open. I wear most of my coats open just so you can see the outfit underneath. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. It's very different to your typical trench coat, but it's still a trench style coat. I'm gonna give this one again a seven out of 10 because it is nice. I personally won't keep it just because I don't think I will get much use out of it but I think it's a really nice coat for if you are someone who likes to go on evening walks or you take your dog out for walks and it's a little bit cold. This is like the perfect autumn transitioning to winter kind of coat. Keeps you warm, still looks really trendy um, and has pockets, which is very important. 
have this coat which is from a brand called YAS and I purchased this from the Marks and Spencer's website and first impressions I love it the material feels very good quality like in comparison to the previous ones I've tried on this feels the most luxurious it's like a cross between the velvet and the trench material I love the color of this as well it's like an olivey beige color which is really beautiful you've got the buttons got the belt we've got the really nice collar let's see if it has, po it has pockets oh this is a really nice trench coat i feel like it's very comparable to my burberry trench i love the side slits it has here i feel like that detail just adds a lot and makes the coat look a lot more expensive i love the dark buttons it has they're like tortoise shell button um, it has the buckles on the sleeves which is really nice you've got the buttons here as well i feel like this looks very luxurious it looks a bit more high-end i feel like if i didn't have my burberry trench coat i would definitely keep this because it is stunning and i feel like this is just a trench coat this is what you think of when you think of a trench coat it feels like a really good fit i mean i did size up so i got a size 14 in this which is what gives me this oversized look so i would keep that in mind when you're purchasing size up if you do want to get a similar look but yeah this is just a stunning trench coat i love the color i love the length of it as well it sits at a really nice length um, yeah, so 10 out of 10 from me. Okay, then this is one from the M&S collection. First impressions, it's quite a yellowy beige colour. For me, it just looks like a yellow coat, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's not too yellow, but in comparison to the other pieces that I picked up, it's quite yellow. And it does have a hood. Um, but I feel like even though it has a hood, it doesn't look as casual as the ASOS one did. Um, I do like the button details it has, the pockets, okay, so it's like the front on pockets rather than the side, which is not a problem because it's really easy to get my hands into. It has the buckle on the hand. Does it have a belt? It has a belt, let's tie it up. Oh, it has a belt with the um, leather buckle detail, which is very similar to the one that's on my trench the Burberry one. Okay, so overall, I'm not really a fan of this one. I'm not sure what it is. Like, it has elements that I like, like the belt feature, the buckle. It's a nice length. I think it's probably the colour mainly that's putting me off, and I don't really like the hood. But the hood doesn't look as bad as it did on the ASOS. Maybe it looks better open. I feel like open works better with this coat. I'm not too sure about this one, but I feel like I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, just because... I'm not really feeling it but it's not awful like i feel like if i saw this someone else i'd love it because it has all those really nice elements but on me i just feel like it's not a vibe okay and then next up from under the stories i picked up this trench coat which again is a different trench coat because it's got that quilted puffer style trench i picked this up because it is getting a little bit colder and i am looking for something that looks like a trench, gives me that trench vibe, but is warmer. And I feel like this is the perfect piece. It's that puffer style, but in a really classy, chic way. It has a belt, which is amazing. I feel like because it's a puffer, sometimes it can be too consuming. So having a belt can help like cinch in that waist. I feel like this is a really pretty puffer jacket, puffer style coat. It's still quite lightweight, so perfect for, again, autumn. It has the belt buckle, it has the buttons. I really like this. It is obviously a different vibe if you're looking for a classic style trench coat. Um, again, I think this would be perfect for going for long walks. If you have a dog and you go on dog walks, this is the kind of perfect, easy throw on coat, throw it over whatever you're wearing and you're good to go and you're still warm, still looking chic. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10. It's really practical, it still looks really good. It's gonna keep you warm. I love the details like the belt, the buckle on the sleeves, and I just think overall it's a really practical coat. This is the next one I picked up from Under the Stories, and I'm just gonna say straight away, I love it. I love this one. I love the length of it. It's like a really long trench coat. The color of it is like a dark beige, quite similar to my Burberry one. It has the belt buckle. I love this detail here. What's this called? Is it called a back the... 
I'm not sure what this feature is called, but it has that detail which my Burberry one also has. And I feel like out of all of these ones I tried on, this looks the most vintage style. And if you're looking for a vintage style trench coat, this is perfect. I love this so much. It has basically everything that I love in my Burberry trench coat in this, but then this little detail here is really cool. It has pockets. I love this. I love the color. This is like a 11 out of 10. My favorite one so far. I've got one more to try on, but so far, excluding my Burberry, obviously, this is my favorite. The last trench coat is this one from Cos. And I really feel like I saved the best tool last without even realizing it because the last one and the and other stories and then this one are my favorites. This looks so expensive, looks really chic, really elegant. I think it's just like the slim line design. Even though I sized up, it still looks really slim, not too bulky. I love the length of it, I think it's so beautiful. The sleeve details, the collar, it has the back, back flaps, I'm gonna call it. <laughs> I'm not sure what the technical term is. It has the belt and I really love this. The color of it is really gorgeous. It's like that camel beige color, which I think is so beautiful. It has pockets, of course, and they're like discreet side pockets, which I love. Guys, I didn't even do this on purpose. I literally just hung them up as I opened the package and just tried it on in the video. And the last two have to be my favorite pieces. So this one is a 10 out of 10 from me. It's such a beautiful coat, a really nice kind of lightweight material. You can throw it over your outfits, cinch it in with the belt. You've got the pocket. It has everything that I love in a trench coat. Okay, so I feel like this is a really nice way to end the video on a positive. I really enjoyed filming this video and trying on different trench coats and I hope that you found this video useful. Do let me know it in the comments down below. If you liked this video, what trench coat you liked, what your favorite piece was, and I could definitely do more videos like this, trying on staple pieces from different brands and comparing them. Um, yeah, I really love these trench coats. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.